Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're back out here on the beach today. A uh, little bit less windy today, a little hazy, but not a bad day to be flying. So I've got the uh, polarizer on the Spark, and so I'm going to do some flights over the water out to the buoy. There's a ship out there. I think he's anchored. I don't see him coming down. He's been sitting there for quite a while. Uh, maybe he is, but not in too big of a hurry. So we're going to go out and fly it. And I'm going to show you some examples over water with the polarizer. So I've already checked hover. I'm good to go. I'm going to make sure I'm out of sport mode here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this up. And we're just going to let this set in a little bit. And I'm going to start... I'm going to move my screen recorder down here. So I've got the video started. I'm counting up. Um, today I'm using the Galaxy 5 the connected OTG to the controller and uh, I just want to take a look around my surroundings, no boats or anything. And I'm trying to get uh, just sort of centered on the buoy. And then what I want to do is just kind of take it out real low. You know, this is one of the things, especially going after cinematic type shots with the spark. And I need to fly it back. Why am I going that way? I'm not going that way. Why am I? Seems like I'm pointing at the buoy, but it sure doesn't look like I'm headed towards the buoy. I'm just trying to angle myself around here. Okay, let's try that again. And see, I think it's because it's up and over. I'm in a little bit different location on the beach today. And so I'm just going to fly out. And we're just heading out there. Just a real light breeze. I can still see the the spark out there, so I'm out there about 400 feet or so. I'm only up about 12 feet. So it's getting some nice, nice video as we come into the buoy. Got a lot of glare. I'm liking this stand more and more um, because it does get it up a little bit closer, and I need reading glasses. I'm old, so... Uh, I basically use the 2.5 reading glasses to kind of watch the screen and it puts it at a nice distance. And so here we're headed out to the buoy. And uh, we seem to be drifting. Uh, well, maybe if I got my finger right on the, the uh, controller. So I have to keep yawing back into it. And uh, we're getting out there. And I'm out getting out pretty close to 900 to 1,000 feet, so it's out there a little bit. You know, actually, I can get, I can still see it uh, out there, so it's a pretty clear day, actually. I thought it was a little bit hazier than that, but uh, I'm out, what is it, right now, over 1,000 feet, and I can still see it. And it's just right above the water. But I want to kind of be careful I don't run into it, because I am, I can even see that I'm below the uh, top of the buoy. And I'm going to raise it up a little bit. And there are birds out there on the buoy today. And um, it's hard to tell from the, uh, the uh, you know, FPV video what it's looking like with the polarizer. But in general, it seems to be looking pretty good. I'm picking up a lot of glare off the screen. And so, uh, not bad. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stop the video and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into intelligent mode and then I want to go to quick shot and I want to say okay so I want to go over top of the buoy and I'm gonna say okay so I'm gonna do a droney from the buoy and Okay, warning, go. So it's doing now doing a droney. 
Now it's giving me a percentage and I'm going to kind of let it run its percentage out because it's not going too far. So it seems to have stopped. So I'm now up about 50 feet and so that's pretty good. I'm going to come back down a little bit and then I'm going to go back in towards it. How's my battery doing? Uh, my battery's getting pretty light. And so I want to try, let's try, um, let's see what else we can try. Let's do another quick shot. And let's paint the buoy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a circle. And I'm going to click go. So now this is, I think, supposed to be doing a circle. Yeah, it is doing a circle. But now I've lost... So it lost the, the connection. I'm going to stop it. So it didn't. What wasn't too successful on doing a uh, buoy shot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to issue a return to home, return to home and land, because uh, my battery is getting pretty low. So we'll bring it back, and so we'll turn the video back on for that, and it'll come home. So I'm getting down to, uh, you know, only about four minutes, and I'm quite a ways out there. So I, I like to come back uh, a little bit early because again, if I uh, there's been a couple times I've flown out there. I can actually see it coming back. It's actually uh, fairly low across the water. And uh, so I like to save it, you know, in case I need to use sport mode. There is a boat coming. Let's see, I'm at 99 feet, so I'm okay. So there's a boat coming up there. So there, there we are right up there. So we're clear. We've, we've made it uh, pretty much back. So that is a good thing. So I don't know, because the, the buoy was moving, if the circle really didn't work. Uh, I'm going to try a couple different flights uh, and with quick shot and that and see. So I've got a couple more batteries. I'm going to do a couple more episodes while I'm out here today as it's coming down. And it's come down. It, it actually comes down fairly slow. Descent, exited, video, exited visual avoidance system. I wonder why that is. And uh, I'm going to move it over so it doesn't land on that. And we're just going to kind of let it land. And we'll bring it down a little bit more. And we'll take it over there. And let's... Yeah, close. Close, but no cigar. But horseshoes, hand grenades, it works. So, again, another great flight over Lake Huron of the Spark. I want to make sure I save out the video. Um, so, again, uh, we'll take a look. Uh, don't know how it quite turned out with the polarizer. Hopefully it's pretty good. I'm going to do another episode with the 16ND. It's pretty bright. You'll notice one of the prior videos I shot out here. I mean, especially with the sand. The sand, uh, just the, the white just blew right out. So do a couple more, experiment around. So anyways, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. And uh, hey, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking about. And cheers. We'll see you guys in the next video.